Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to extend what we have learned in our previous video. We saw how we can work with forms inside inertia but then there is one more aspect which we need to understand which is how to deal with files. Now when we go to our login route let me open that up. So I have a login page so login.view we have seen we are using something called as use form right and we had an email and a password but when we are dealing with file uploads actually not a lot of things change to be very honest inertia helps us to keep things very simple and yet get a very quick file upload mechanism so let's see how that can be done before that i'll quickly go to the inertia documentation so that we understand together what are the things that are available. So as you can see this part is important. I would like you to pay attention that when making inertia request that includes files, inertia will automatically convert the request data into a form data object, which basically means that my development APIs, which, which you know, inertia is providing doesn't change. It automatically does that. Okay. But if you want to force, you have the ability to do that. Now, I'm not going to do any additional forcing mechanism and everything. I'm going to stick to the, uh, the basics, the defaults and see how things work. Okay. So this is a pretty good example and I literally followed this and I was able to get it to work. So I will take references from here and I will explain you what is happening. I will go to web.php and maybe somewhere I have a profile controller inside my profile controller I have profile.view and let me see in here this is my profile page so why don't we put a form over here I have a div user searched for and maybe I'll put everything in here inside a div just so that logically they are you know, kind of separated by container and then I'll create a form. Now in a typical Vue.js uh, form what we do is submit prevent okay and we can call a function we will expect that function to be submit that's clear now in here I'll have an input the type will be text model let's just say I have uh, nothing in here right set up Okay, I'll get this function inside my setup method first of all and use form. Okay, constant form equals this. Now I'll have name and pick. Okay, so this is form dot name and this will be file form dot pick okay and one small thing is because I need to put the first file data in here I can do something like add input form dot of the um, what I can do is add the it input form dot pick is equal to when I get the event you know that's the event which will be triggered when any change happens inside the input and then files zero so this is how 
we get the files inside a file field. So what I'm doing is I'm putting that in the form not pick, which is where is it? This. Okay. And maybe what I'll do is just do form. Okay. And now there's one interesting thing I'll show you in the example. I'll copy this. It's a progress component which allows us to show the progress of the upload. Okay. And yeah, I'll just stick that here and then do a button submit. So now let's go into the form. It's a bit of a mess. How can I do something about it? Okay, one clear thing is pre tag should yeah do this. So now let me choose a file. So now I have this file selected. So as you can see, pick is an object, an array of object file. And so what we have done is we took the first one and there are details to it. Now I haven't written any code to handle submit. So we will have to do that. What we will do is we'll create a route, but first we will say that on this function call form.post to file upload. Okay. So we don't have this route. Let's create that. I'll just remove the test and do file upload. So let's just first look at what we get in request all. Okay, that's it. So this is profile. Let us refresh once more. And then I'll just submit. Now what happened? Let me open the logger uh, log file. Okay, I should have cleaned it, but I can see I have name and I have pick and the pick is a file. So yes, we are in business. This is working. And to be honest, the rest is very simple. We have beautiful APIs available for us, which allows us to save the file. So what I can do is first I will check if the request has a file. And that will be pick. If we have that file, then hmm, we can do request pick store images. Okay. So basically if I have the file, then I will get a key key called pick in the request object. And what I will do is I'll then store it in the images folder. That's what ideally should be. And then I'll return to route. Now to route takes a name or a string. I think it takes a name if I'm not wrong. Let, let us try and do that. But if it fails, then we'll see what can be done. Mm, profile, profile, profile. Name is profile. So controller. Mm, sorry. Profile. It's a route. Route name. I'm not sure. Does it say somewhere? It says there's a string. So redirect route route. So I think it it will take a not a route name but a string. Let's see. But both of them are same, so that can be a problem. I'll just do profile. Okay. Let's see. Um, so again. Select the file, put anything in this text field that is of no interest for us. I hit before I hit submit is my log file clear. Yep. So I now hit submit and it says slash profile route is not defined very well, but the redirection failed. And if I'm not wrong, app private images, and this is the file that was, I was trying to upload. So yes, this is working. Um, we can just ignore this. This is pretty straightforward. This is my route name. So this should work. I'll just clean it up. Try once more. I selected the file. Submit. Go to storage. 
So yes, both the images are same. I have selected the same image. But as you can see, now there's no error and I'm redirected back to profile. So yeah, this is the beauty of you know, using the inertia form, um, the, the form helper, right? It, it is just amazing. It makes everything so easy for you to work with. As you can see, there's just a few things that I had to do. I imported use form, created the form object. Okay. I have a file field. This was done so that another you know, file name is kind of um, attached to it as an input thing. There is a progress. Um, it's in the documentation. I couldn't make the progress. I mean, the file upload so slow that I can see a progress. I'll see if I can do that. And then accordingly, I will tell you. Um, but this is you know, taking the form dot progress and everything. So maybe when I upload it on a server, it will give me that results. And then with the submit, right, we hit the post route. We upload the file. We see it in our storage and of the process. It's that simple. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. If you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.